this here, so you're here. And you just want to reach, make a big X, and you're trying to extend everything. So extend your hips, extend here. My neighbors think, when are you going to start the yoga class again? <laughs> We're not doing yoga. That's what they think it is. That's what they think it is. Yeah. All right, now hinge. So you're just here and just hinge. Yeah, stick your butt back. Yeah, and that's all you're doing. And then the next one is just here. So you're trying to move your arms this way here. It's like you're walking. Look at me, Billy. Look at my arms. I can see you. See, there you go. Yeah, no, look. Like, look, my arm's coming down. You want to almost exaggerate the whole thing. So look, look behind you. And this is just, this is like a, a standing roll. And I lost count, so that's about 21, right? <laughs> All right, so you do 21 of those. Hands together. This is one of my favorites. And it, what you're going to do is you're going to make a figure eight with your hands. So you're just really trying to, you can move your head and neck. You can move your feet. You just want to. You want to feel it. Yeah. This is what RJ does when he goes clubbing. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got this. When the good stuff finally kicks in. Yeah. All right, now go the opposite way. This one should feel a little bit different. Come on, RJ. This should feel a little bit different. Okay, so imagine those are 21, so now we're here. Your elbows are here. And your head's up, and you're just up and down with the neck. I just finished painting my deck yesterday. I hope it's not gonna fuck it up. <laughs> I don't want to swear in, my, in the mic. <laughs> no, that's a swear word. I'm just like, ah. Oh. I should have looked at the weather. All right, so now keep, try to keep your head up as much as possible, and you're looking here, left and right. And you want to make sure you're moving your eyeballs around. You want to look with your eyes. Okay, good. And then you're gonna go from here, curl your toes under. So toes are under, so you're gonna come up here, so head's gonna be up. And then when you come down, head goes down. So you're up and then down. So, so you're just going back and forth. Yep. Do 21 of these. And then the next ones, you're starting in the same position. Probably got spread out a little bit. Guess we're gonna hit heads. My is still in the view. Alright, so you're going, you're coming down and you wanna stay low up to like upward dog or whatever it is. There you go. Watch Billy. So you come back. Elbows go down almost. And, stay, and what you want to do is you want to pull, pull with your hands. So you should feel it in your lats right there. And then all the way up. And then look up. Now you would tuck your head and kind of reverse it this way here. Tuck your head down. Pull with your lats. And, uh, and you just can speed it up a little bit. Oh. Hands and knees. 
All right, and off your knees. And you're just rocking here. Keep your head up though. You wanna work, work your neck muscles at the same time. And then hips up. And then knees come close to the ground and then back up. So you wanna come down close and straighten. Now lift one foot up, so one foot up, and you're doing it one-legged. So same thing, but just with one leg. And then switch. Good, and then take your left foot out, and you're just rocking here. I'm gonna switch. How's the family, RJ? Doing well. Yeah. Yours? They're good. They're they're Mackenzie's home for okay. a little bit. Another month or so. Good. And then bring your foot up here. And you're rocking here. Uh, no, Jewish. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured you were Salt Lake. Switch, yeah, a lot of Mormons, a lot of Mormons. Not there's anything wrong with that. No, yeah, no, no. It's all, they're nice people. They're nice. Maddie, Bill, you haven't gotten into the barefoot shoes yet? Yeah, you yeah, got you got to you got to commit, man. You got you won't go back. I know. You won't go back. I told him. Yeah, you won't. Ordered a pair of shoes recently. I had seven back. They'll get there one day. They'll get there. There we go. Yeah, you want yeah, once you once you once you once you're there, you won't go back. Yeah, I'm yeah. I love you there, so yeah. Yeah, then you would yeah, you would you would it would be fine. Yeah. All right, so you're just here and just loosening up, looking with your head and neck. Move your arms around, move your head. Let your arms just flop around. And then <laughs> side to side. Did you see it was bothering it, right? Yeah. And then just loosen up here, just going around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What'd you miss? Yeah, it's like a week in the Everything but night. Yeah. <laughs> so I was playing Wordle. Yeah. Wordle? No. I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah. It was IGHT, and I picked like might, sight, fight, and then I went through it. It was night, and I did miss it. You missed it. Yeah. Fix me up, buddy. There you go. All right. Let's do some kettlebells. So I don't know what weight you guys use. You guys grab. I got 53s, 44s. Okay. 
So here, Billy. Take that one. It's a little wet because yeah, it must be humid. You guys want 53s? Yeah, yeah. Maddie, what do you want? 35? 35. 35. Sure. Take a new one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You like tape this thing to you or something. It's tough on a t-shirt. It is, it is. Yeah. yeah. It's like, wow. We need the actual like lavalier from the pocket. <laughs> 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 they can have one, don't What's yeah, that? It's just a little clip on mic where you clip it here uh, and then you like put it in your like you put your pocket that way it doesn't move around, it stays. Okay. So you should have done Next time. Next time. Alright, so we'll start off with just the setup and then uh, what I call them a dead stop swing or a start stop swing. So it's important most people get hurt doing swings either the first rep or the last rep. So the, the last rep is that they, they done ten swings and then just put it down half ass. So you want to make sure you pick it up and put it down and then finish properly before you're before you before you quit before you're you know the set yeah is that better yeah you better there. there you go all right so a start stop so when you when you start off when the swing i i've been working keeping my feet parallel rather than turned out this i think engages the glutes a little bit more i don't know why maybe science Science. <laughs> Trust the science. So it, feet parallel. So you don't want to go too close. You don't want to go too narrow. So when I go down, I want to hinge back, get my butt back. I want to be able to reach here, grab this, knock it over. And then when, the last thing I want to do is tighten up my lats. And see how the kettlebell drags towards me? That's what I want. I don't want to be here swinging from way out here because what happens is my arm is going to be here. And I don't want to be here. I want to be packed in. Don't want to be out this way, back here. And you don't have to go too high. And like I was helping with Mitch, go ahead and go to this, go to, to go to this part, is you want to have your elbows kind of down at the top. So, you, so what you're trying to do is at the top of the kettlebell swing, I'm trying to break the kettlebell. So when I do this, see how it kind of packs in my shoulders? So if I was going to do a push-up, I want to, corkscrew my feet into the corkscrew my hands into the ground it's the same thing i'm corkscrewing my shoulders down to pack in my shoulders perfect so but if i were to start the kettlebell swing way out here see how my shoulders aren't packed in it's just it's just weird all right so so when you set up you want to start off packed and stay packed the whole time okay but you're just going to do one swing at a time and I'm just going to just say go and then I'm going to watch. I mean, you're going to do a few of them and then I'll, then we'll go from there. All right. So what you, what is it going to look like? You get set up, I grab it, I knock it on its side. I try to break the kettlebell. All right. I'm looking maybe 15 feet in front of me. When you hike it, your chest rises a little bit. Your forearms are going to hit your thighs. And so that's what I'm looking for. So if you're, if you only hike it till about here, and you start swinging, you're going to be using your back. So the, 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 when I, I want to propel the kettlebell with my hips. And I want to stay almost till about here before the kettlebell leaves my body. So the longer you can stay connected, the more power you're going to get. If I start coming apart here, you're using your back. Okay? So you want to start, knock it on its side, pack my lats, hike it snap it up get connected put it down and you should start and stop in the same exact spot so i don't want to be here exhale and then and then put it way out somewhere else or you want to you want to start and finish in the same exact spot you just started with okay so let's just do a few of those and let me see what you got and if you guys wanted to take your shoes off it might be good because what happens is with the <laughs> with the with the yeah, shoes you're yeah you're bad because what happens is because when, when yeah so when you're when you're with, with soft shoes think about it like if i was going to do like a deadlift or something you're 
you want to use the ground for power. And, and you're actually, with the soft shoes, you're actually, the first power is going into squishing your shoes down. So you want to be, you want to be connected to the earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it sounds kind of corny, but you want to be connected, you know, and be, you know, like if you imagine your foot's like a, a triangle, right? So you got one, two, and three. You want to be driving into the ground. There's a, there's a lot to think about doing a swing that you just don't think about. And I'll just keep telling you things because it just pops into my head. So when, I, so when I go here, I'm actually trying to push into the ground as much as possible. You know, so because like I said, there's a swing. Like I could swing and just be like, you know, and there it looks like a good swing, but it's not really, a, I want an explosive as possible swing. That's where you're going to get the most conditioning from. So when I'm doing the start stop swings, some people call them um, power swings. This is one at a time. And I really want to extend hard and put it down. So I'm coming up as hard as possible. So I'm pushing into the ground, but I'm generating power out that way at the same time. So it's just don't let go. Yeah. Easy enough. Easy enough. All right, so let's do a few. See what you got. Can you back up RJ a little bit so I can see Maddie? Yeah. Let me just see your start. Head up, head up, looking that way. Lean back. You should, hold on a second. Look, eight, wait. So, yep, Maddie. So engage more your lats. So I want to be here. It shouldn't be comfortable. You should feel that your hamstring stretching. Okay, you don't want to be too low. You want your hips above your knees, shoulders above your hips. Hips above the knees, yes. Okay, I don't want to be too, I don't want my hips to be up too high. I don't want to be down low. Right in the middle. Okay, so go to the start. Get a good grip, try to break the kettlebell. Yes, and swing. And then put it down. Do it again. Again. Your hips too low, RJ, a little bit. Put your hips up a little higher. Yes. Chest up, bend your el elbows a little bit. You wanna remember, like, when, you, when you come back this way, the kettlebell moves a little bit. So when I go, should be right in the same spot. My lats are nice and tight, butt's engaged, hamstrings are tight. Okay, go, do it again, let's do it again. Do it again. Not bad, not bad. Keep going, one more time. There you go, and then rest a second. Not bad. Everybody looks fairly good. Taught you well, Mitch. Thank you. So, Ma so, so, Maddie, the only thing I got to say is maybe is, so, so when you're swinging it, it's less, don't, don't squat it so much. But I hear now that they are teaching it with more of a squat. I don't know why. They, they're strong first, yeah. Oh, so really? it's less... Because before it was like keeping your shins almost vertical throughout the whole time. Now they're allowing a little bit more of a squat. It's probably a knees over toes guy I got to him. Yeah. It's maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Snatch. Because because I think it's all about the snatch. Is the snatch is you're is your trying to generate power to, to get above your head. Right, yeah. And when you swing, you're generating power forward. So I think now they're trying to do more of a swing where you're swinging and, and the weight's going this way rather than that way. I was always taught to swing like I'm trying to throw the kettlebell yeah. forward yes. and I'm just stopping it with a nice hard plank. Yeah. Okay, so that's what, what I want you to think about next is when you get to the top of your swing, everything should be tight. Butts tight, lats are tight. Thighs are tight. I want to pull up on my kneecaps. Okay, you can't squeeze your butt if your kneecaps kneecaps aren't up. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah so you got to pull your. Ball. What's that? That was my big yeah, you gummy knees. Yeah. Yeah. Knees. So every time, so if you think about it from the ground up, okay, I'm at the top of my swing. I'm pull. I make sure you're pulling your kneecaps up. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your stomach and everything's nice and tight at the top. 
And then on the way down, I want to try to stay as tight as possible. I don't loosen up until it starts dropping, okay? Okay, so now, so the next, I'm going to have you do five in a row this time. And what I want you to think about is pushing through the ground, getting tight at the top. That's the only thing I want you to think about. So five reps, continuous, don't stop. So you're going five in a row. And go, swing. And put it down with good form. All right. So a couple things I've noticed. One is you don't want to do the, um, what's that bird thing? That, that, that bird that bobs up and down. Flamingo thing in the, the yeah with the little the, yeah okay so what you don't want to do is you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to swing and 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 I'm I'm hinging and dropping the kettlebell at the same time so it looks like this okay so you don't want to do that okay so if you're watching me watching me do it I want to stay connected as long as possible so it's it's one and then my arms are floating and then it's two. And then I want to let the kettle, I should, be, I should see the kettlebell dropping before I hinge. So you want to let the kettlebell drop as much as possible and then get out of the way. Because if I go here and then it, it, you're, you're not connected and, it's, and it's, you're going to catch it more on your back. So if I let the kettlebell drop and I hinge at the last second, I'm going to feel it more in the hamstrings. It's like you're almost avoiding hitting yourself in the yes. nuts, no. Yeah, so you want to, you actually, that's what I tell you if it was, I don't know you too well, Matty, but yes, you're trying to hit yourself in the nuts, and then you're trying to get out of the way. And then you want to snap back up and let it drop as much as, you should see it drop. That's important. Okay, so the, say, like, enjoy that time it floats that's like your rest, rest period. Yeah, that's your rest period. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, let it float, and then, yeah. Right let it float. So if you're going, if you're, if you're watching me doing it, okay. Yeah, you should, I should see the kettlebell come down before, I don't, I don't want to be here, okay, I don't want to do this, I'm not looking down either, I'm looking out, I pick one, I pick one thing and I keep my eyes on it, so I'm not looking down, looking up, looking down, looking up, I want to look out, see the kettlebell drop, and I'm looking at something. Just don't make eye contact, right? Yeah. All right, so let's do, let's do it again. So let's try to think about that where you're not doing such a, I don't know what they call that thing, but you're not doing that, okay? Your, it should float, the kettlebell should float. Get nice and tight, let it float back down, okay? Okay, go, five more. Oh, sorry. Yeah, lean back. Make sure you're looking out this way, Maddie. Okay, go. Whenever you're ready, go. Unless you're trying to show them your good side. Yeah. <laughs> nice and snappy. Snap it up. Not so high, though, Maddie. There you go. There. Nice. Okay, everybody's doing pretty good. I just want to mention it, though. So on the way back down, the, the handle of the kettlebell should never go below your knee. So sometimes, Maddie, you're getting a little bit low here. You want to aim, this was the triangle, right? I want to aim for the hole. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to go too low with it. Okay, so sometimes, so when I, that first, the first hike is important too, so hike it with your lats. I'm hiking it with my lats strong, come up strong with it. Okay? Um, there's one other thing I wanted to tell you, Matt, and I forgot. But it's looking good. Let's do it again. I mean, maybe it'll remind me if we do five more reps. Let's do it again. Chest up, chest up, yep. Knock it on its side, yep, go. Nice and snappy. Stand up straighter, Maddie, that's it, there, yes. Pull your kneecaps up, push through the ground. Push through the ground, there you go. Good, yes. So, so when you get to the top, you sh it should be like a, I'm doing a plank on the ground. So if I was doing a plank on the ground with my hands together, I want to be hollowed out. Everything's nice and tight. Okay. So when I get to the top, that's what I'm doing at the top. I'm not doing anything weird. 
I'm not, I'm, I'm getting nice and tight. Push through the ground, nice and snappy. The guys are looking good. You're an easy class. All right, so that's, that's a two-hand swing. Let's just go quickly go to the one-hand swing. So it's a little bit more. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it's a little bit. Yes. Yeah, you guys are doing good. Um, yeah, you picked it up quick. So the one-hand swing is just a little bit harder because it's, the kettlebell's trying to, at the top of the, at the swing, the kettlebell's trying to pull you this way. Okay, so you need to fight that, fight that. So I'm constantly pulling my shoulder blade back. So at the top of my swing, I want to be here, not so much there. Okay? So I'll, I'll demonstrate with, with Billy. He's a big guy. So now if, you're, if your shoulder wasn't packed out, like let's say you're, you're not, you're there. Now try to resist. Okay, so now if your shoulder blade is packed, now resist. See, so you're, you're putting, when your shoulder blade is back, you're putting yourself in a stronger position. I don't want to be here at the top of my swing. I want to be at the top, I want to be here. So in order to do that, so, and then the opposite hand is always following the working hand. So this one doesn't hold the kettlebell. So I'm always, so when I'm swinging, I'm following with this hand. Okay, following. And I put it down, so when I, you're always here. It's just gonna, because it'd just be weird if you just left it standing there. You know what I mean? It's just weird, I don't know. So you're, this, this is better, just a better motion. Don't be weird. No weird shit. <laughs> so at the bottom of the swing, the kettlebell's trying to do this. This is why a lot of people get like back, oh, my back hurts, you know? You know, and it's because they're just not swinging correctly because they start twisting because the kettlebell's twisting you this way. So you need to always be pushing down on the opposite non-working shoulder. So at the bottom of the swing, I'm thinking coming down, I need to start pushing this shoulder down. So I, mean, I want to stay square at the bottom, square at the top. I don't want to be here, and I don't want to be here. So I need to actively push the shoulder down. And then at the top, I'm actively pulling back this. Okay, that way, that's, that's the reason why you can also, you'll notice I bend my elbow this way a little bit. So when I'm, when I'm going, it's not totally not totally straight because I, I, I can't pack it in but if I'm going and my elbows a little bit bent I could I can stay packed the whole the whole time so it doesn't have to be straight a lot of people you know and then when it's out straighter the arc is that much bigger so you're just putting more pressure on the back so I want to maintain that arc where it's a little closer so when I do start doing like hand-to-hand -hand work which we'll get into next. Swing switch, you know, you don't want the kettlebell way out there, okay? So when we go to start, same, same, it's like we're gonna go down and start like we're going to doing a two-hand swing. I go down, I grab it, I knock it on its side. I grab it right in the middle, all right? Now at the, when I come between my legs, I, you have to tilt your thumb in a little bit. Some people don't have to, it just, naturally just you're kind of coming in a little bit okay two hands knock it pack my shoulders this hand just kind of kind of out here but it's going to follow okay lats are tight hike it and i'm following it with this hand and i want to be square square okay and then put it down and then start with the other side so it's five left five right So start off like you're doing a two-handed one. Grab it in the middle, and whenever you're ready, go. Five on the left, put it down. Keep your chest up, Billy. Chest up, stand up straight, Maddie. Mitch, twist your thumb a little bit, though. Go right to right? Yeah, go right to the other hand, yeah. Get connected, Billy, get connected. Pack your shoulder. It's a little bit harder, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of bit harder. Yeah. Billy, grab. Grab it. Manny, go a little lighter. Go a little lighter. That way we can maybe feel a little bit better. Is it 35 or 44? I think it's 44. 44? So you really, on this one, 
really, it's, it's involving more muscles, okay? So you really need to hike it, and I'm trying to get connected every single time. So get connected. I wanna, if I'm not driving with my hips, you're losing power. If I become disconnected, I'm losing power. So if you watch when I'm swinging, I'm hitting my thigh every time. Every time I'm stay, trying to stay connected as long as possible. So I'm trying to stay connected the whole way. If I start coming apart, even with my triceps, I'm losing power. And it's important when you start either one swinging heavier or you're going with a snatch. Okay, so when I start snatching, I really need to stay connected. Or even doing a high pull. Okay, the longer I stay connected, the better off you're gonna be. And then Mitch, try to, here, more in. Some people, and it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, th and that first rep too, to make sure like when you start that first rep, I want to make sure it's, it's, I'm nice and tight in my hamstrings and I'm really, ex really trying to use my lats. So that first rep is important. The first rep, last rep, most important ones. It's good. The first one's going to get you started. If you have a bad first rep, it's kind of hard to make the other ones better. Okay. Aim high. Like I said, aim high and stay connected, okay? So do five on the left, put it down, five on the right. Go, whenever you're ready. Stay nice and tight, get connected, follow with that hand, follow it. Keep that shoulder blade packed, that was better. Better start there, Billy, it was good. There you go, Mitch, looks good. Pull your shoulder blade back, Maddie, a little bit. Keep your head up, Billy. Yeah, there, there you go. Better, way better that time. Did it feel better? Yeah. Yeah, it's just so many different There's a lot to think about because you also need to think about, like I said, you, you can't forget about driving through with your feet, can't forget about pulling up your kneecaps, and, it's, and, the, and the weight's trying to twist you, so you're using more, you should feel it more on the opposite side of the body. So you're using more of the X muscles, okay? All right, just shake it out and we'll do another one. But like I, when Maddie, you don't want it to, um, you were out a little bit farther, I want to be here. Don't, don't be afraid to bend your elbows a little bit this way. You just don't want to do, like some people, like, it, like uh, they started doing the T-Rex swing. Have you heard of the T-Rex swing? So if I'm here. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm swinging. But so some people start doing it with one hand, you know, and they do weird, sh you know, that's, that's not a swing. I'm, I want to be here. I just don't want to be totally straight because when it's straight, it feels like this, I just feel is stronger if I'm, if I'm a little bit closer in and my elbow's bent. All right, keep it in, maintain that arc, they say. All right, let's go five and five. Time we got. Three, ten. There you go. Push through the ground. Sque yeah, squeeze your kneecaps. Use. Billy, move your other arm. Follow it. Be there you go. Follow it. Pull your shoulder blades back. There you go, Maddie. Good. Get connected every time. Get connected. There you go. Good. My other hand has a mind of its own. Yeah, you're, it's a little. <laughs> Because you can't, you know, the, what's, what's, <laughs> you're, you know, what's hard about the swing is that you're going from tense to loose, 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 tight again. And then I need to be tight at the top. So you're constantly going from tight to loose to tight to loose. And it happens in seconds. I don't want to be tight the whole time, but I don't want to, but I don't want to be loose the whole time. So. So let's just go over the breathing a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're breathing, so I want to make sure when I, when I start, I'm inhaling through the nose. So I inhale, exhale, and then inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you also need to be thinking about the breathing. 
okay? This time we're gonna do five in a row. We're gonna switch on the fifth rep at the top. Okay, don't be afraid. If it, if it gets out of your way, just, just let it go. We're all padded here. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna, you're gonna do your five, right? So let's say this is five on a switch at the top and then do five there, okay? And it's, one full revolution, then it's, I was going to say. Well, no, you can, some people, some people, some people twist it, but I like to just grab the top. So just switch on the fifth one, don't do six. Fifth one, you're going to switch at the top and then do your, so you're doing five and five. Okay. Fancy shit, don't cross that. Yeah, no cross that, yeah. Do a little sling over your shoulder. I, I have practiced those. I, you're probably outside a little bit. I tried to do the, the, the guy, guy was swinging it behind her. There's some fancy. There's some fancy ones. They turn to like, not yeah. in a bad way, but like they make like an art out of it. Like the flow. Like a the flow, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah, but you got to take your shirt off though. True. That's how, that's how it works. Everybody's got their shirts off. Lots of oil. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's in short shorts, like short, like that. Yeah, that's correct. They're either in a park or on a beach somewhere. All right, so five on the left. Switch at the fifth one, and then five more on the right. Focus on your breathing. You can't think about everything all at once. So focus on breathing. Inhale through your nose. Exhale at the top. Shoulder blades back. Use your arm, other arm, Maddie. There you go. Remember that last one. Make sure that last, the first one and last rep. Don't just do 10 and then put it down Willy nilly, you know what I mean? Make sure the tenth one is good. Yeah, your left hand gets kind of like, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over there. <laughs> try to, try to, try to, like when you're swinging, loosen up the non-working arm. So the, the non-working arm should be loose, it should flow. I want to flow here with this arm, because this arm is giving me power to get back to the top. If this arm is tight, it's not going to work. You know, all right. So let's do, let's do uh, some hand to hand. And so hand to hand switch is you're switching every single time. Okay, so in order to do this one, you have to keep it in close. You don't want to get it in too far in front of you. All right. So when I go, all right, I'm gonna swing and then switch at the top. Just keep an eye on it, but don't forget about everything that you're supposed to be doing. So just every rep, I'm switching. It should, the kettlebell should float a little, little bit up there. Get it to float, okay? We'll just do like, do, do like six. So like three, yeah, six reps total. Switch every time. Aim high, Maddie, aim high and the weight's down. There you go, good. And good. That's hand to hand. And then the next one would be, you'll do one swing and switch. Swing, switch. Okay, so you're here. Swing, switch. Swing, switch. Swing, switch. And put it down. Six, go. Swing, switch, swing. Get connected, get connected every rep. Use that other arm, Maddie. Use it less. Swing, yeah. Swing it. So that's pretty much all the swings. So one, two hand, one hand, start, stop. Hand to hand, swing switch. Well, they call it swing transfer. Wait, don't forget American swings though. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't do those. <laughs> we don't do that. We don't do those. All right, what we have time we got? All right, we'll go a few minutes and then we'll do a, like a little swing workout. Or oh, you guys will. I already worked out. Uh, so let's just go over cleans a little bit. Okay, so we'll start off at the top. So put it up. 
put the kettlebell up. I'll show you the rack position with the kettlebell. So everybody go ahead and get into the rack position. So this is where you want to be. So it's just hang out there. Mitch, I taught you better. There, yes. there. So you want to see how Mitch is here? It's, it's sitting in that pocket. Thumb on guys should be touching the collarbone. Okay, so there. You got a bigger chest, so there, yeah, there you go. Good, try to keep your wrist straight. More straighter. There, wait, there, there. So I want to be here, straight wrist. Okay, straight wrist, that's the rack position. So go ahead and put it down. So you want to end up there. So when I'm doing my clean, that's why it's important to have a good one arm swing. Because if you got a bad swing, your clean's not going to be that good. All right? So you'll start at the top. So rack position is here. Okay? You're going to let the kettlebell drop. You let it drop, get out of the way, hike it back up. You can even use two hands. Okay? So I'm here, two hands. Put it in the rack position. All right? Everybody try that. So start at the top, put it up there, get a good rack position. Nice straight wrist, wrist more, don't be here. Be there. Yes, there. Drop it, get out of the way, and then get right back to where you started from. Do it again. No, swing it, swing it, RJ. Swing through, there you go. Like clean? Yep, like it's clean, yeah, there you go. All right, one, and then go, and then stop for a second. And then, not bad, not bad. So, so the clean, if you notice, especially on you, Billy, it's it's flipping and it's hitting your shoulders. Yeah. Okay, so what what you need to do is one, keep a loose grip. Okay, my elbow never comes away from my body on the way down. Okay, so I, I'm keeping my elbow in nice and tight the all the the whole time. Okay. What's happening with you is that you're thinking you're bringing a kettlebell this way and it's flipping over this way. I want to, the kettlebell should be rotating around my hand. Not, don't think about cleaning to your chest. I want to think about cleaning to my waist. So, so right here, I'm starting to shoot my hand up through. Okay. All right, so when I go, okay. I'm cleaning here and it's swinging through. Okay, I'm not, if I were to clean up here, you're doing this, yeah. see the difference? Okay, I'm not doing that. I want to clean my waist, keep my elbow in, nice and tight and it rotates around my hand. Let's try that. Either go do a few on the left, few on the right. There you go, Mitch. Good. That was better. See that, Billy? It was yeah. even better that time. Straighten your arm out at the bottom, though, Maddie. There you go. There you go. Loose grip. Keep your elbow in close. What are you doing with this hand, Billy? What are you doing there? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Try it with the left hand. Let me see it. So go ahead and swing it through. There you go. Now, now get, get here though. Start there. There you go. Not bad. Well, your watch is in the way too. Clean to your waist. Clean it to the waist. There, batter. Your watch is in the way. All right, rest. You just want to make sure when you get to the top, you're not doing this. Yeah. This puts yourself in a weak position. Okay, I want to be in a strong position. End up there. But you guys are good. I mean, it's not bad. It, it, the clean takes a lot more practice. <laughs> the clean take, does take a lot of practice. Yeah. All right? All right. Now you guys go. Um, it wasn't bad. I mean, I think it was more of his sw the swing. Yeah. You had to clean up your snatch, too? You had to clean up. Well, we, did we, we didn't do too many snatches. No, I don't think we... He's trying to be a funny guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We both record the same thing, that flip, you know? The yeah. flip, yeah. Being very serious. <laughs> well, I know, it's smash. The, I don't know if I can do it with a 53 effectively. Yeah, the snatch is hard. I don't show that till three, four down the road. All right, so let's do a little workout. So what you're going to do is you're going to do 10. You're going to just go to just two-handed swings. Okay, so two-hand swings, you're going to do 10 of them. 
and then you're gonna, and it's every 75 seconds, you're gonna do 10 swings, but the, the, the kicker is you gotta rest and plank. So you'll rest and plank the remainder of the minute, and then it's like 15 second rest, and it's 10 rounds. So focus on good, good uh, swings every single rep. Remember, you're doing one swing 10 times. We're just doing high plank? Just regular old, I might switch it up after, you know, like each round, switch it up a little bit, but we'll do a plank here, plank here, maybe side planks, all right, all right. maybe so crawling. Call I'll call it out. Right. First one's this regular plank, this regular old plank. Yeah, and, and then it'll, you'll go to the top of the minute and then you got 15 seconds to rest. Okay, so during rest, just shake it out, be loose. If you want to go to, go to the heavier caterpillar, it's fine. If you want to stay lighter, it's fine too, no biggie. Well, they're both switching. See, I shouldn't have said anything. All right, you guys ready? Oh yeah. You ready, RJ? So 10 good, starting in starting 10 second. seconds. You got 10 seconds. So remember, good start, good finish. And go. Work. Inhale on the downswing, exhale a little bit at the top. Use the ground for power. And then suit right when you put the kettlebell down, move to the side and plank it out. Remember, you're pushing up through your shoulders. You, all you guys got good planks. <laughs> yeah, not that. Yeah, not that. <laughs> 20 seconds. But it looks good for like social media when you do that. Yes. Yes, just take your shirt off. <laughs> Five seconds. Good, good, stand up. Don't go very far. Rest. All right, now in this, these, these 10 reps, I want you to think about pulling your kneecaps up every single rep. Kneecaps up, three, two, one. Go. Pull those kneecaps up, push through the ground. This time plank on your elbows. Elbow plank. Did you guys work out today already or no? I waited for this. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right, good. We waited all day for this area. 53 is a lot lighter after you do the one drill. Well. Yes, yes. I was like, wait, is this the same weight? 10 seconds. Time goes backwards in the plane. All right. And good, good. Okay, get ready. Don't go very far. Shake it out. Be loose. You went to 62, RJ? Yeah, eight more of those? What'd you say? You went to 62 pounder? All right, here we go. Three, two, and go. This time, think about your squeezing your glutes, squeezing your stomach at the top. Glutes and stomach at the top. In order to do that, you gotta tighten up your kneecaps. Good, regular plank. Let's go uh, crawling plank. So you knees up off the ground. So you're here, just here. You guys have had F45, not 360. Yeah. Try to keep your head up. <laughs> Try to get your knees maybe an inch from the ground. Head up. Keep your head up. Yeah. Fifteen seconds. And rest. That one might have been the hardest. 
<laughs> 10 seconds. This time focus on your breathing. Inhale at the bottom, exhale at the top. Two, one, go. Good start, good stop. Good start, good finish. Get your shoulder blades back, nice and snappy. Push through the ground, explode up. Good, which one? Uh, side right, side right plank, side right. Elbow or high? Don't matter. Whatever you think is good. No shaking. <laughs> 12 seconds. Five. And good. Remember, only, only, don't worry how high the kettlebell goes. Only make it go as high as your hips allow you to go. So even if it goes a little bit lower, doesn't matter. Go. Shoulder blades back. Good start, good finish. Don't worry how high it goes. Stand up straight at the top. Push through the ground. It's regular old plank again. Or I don't know, go left hand, left hand, other hand, sorry. I realize in 45 minutes is a waste of time. Yeah. You only need 10 minutes. Fast 10. I don't think that would sell anything though. Come in for 10 minutes. Let's do a little fitness. Twenty seconds. Three, two, and rest. Rest. Ten seconds. Is it 62? Yeah. All right, here we go. Get ready. Good start. Good start. Hands on the bell. Three, two, and good start. Go. Hike it through. Drive. Kneecaps. Try to relax your face. Relax your face, breathe. This time hollow hold. So on the back, your back, so you're here. You can bend your knees, keep it lower. Keep your lower back pressed to the ground the whole time. Lower back stays pressed. Right? Yeah. Keep your lower back pressed. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Seven seconds. And rest. Good. Back up. Rest. Wait, over here. All right, get ready. Here we go. Two, and go. Exhale to top. Stand up nice and tall. Remember the top of your head should be going up towards the ceiling. Imagine somebody's trying to, just nothing, this guy's just rest. Just resting this time. So at the top, you want to be here. Try not to, try not to have your head this way a little bit. I want to be nice and straight at the top. Somebody's pulling my head to the ceiling. Is there three or is that two? Three more. Oh, what? Oh. Is there two? Okay. You would know. Neutral zone of reference. Oh. It means centration balance, like here, here, foot tripod, shoulder blades. Science. Yeah. Science. Everything you're saying, just science. Yeah, five, five seconds. Here we go. Hands on the bell. Two, and go. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Sorry, 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 sorry. We got 10 more seconds. That was the rest of the rest. My bad. Bad coaching. Bad, bad coaching there. All right, now get ready. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Stand up nice and straight. Remember, let that kettlebell drop a little bit. You should see it drop before you hinge. There you go, Maddie. Better. See the kettlebell drop before you hinge. Good. Just rest. I like these. Just rest. Just rest. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it? Let it drop more when you when I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hello, sir. I get more parking to the premium right now. No, you still got 15 seconds. There you go. Rest. 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 All right, here we go. Hands on bell, here we go. Good start, good finish, and go. Shoot your butt back. You should feel your hamstring stretch every time. Stretch, contract. Chest up. Pick a spot, keep your eye on it. Nice and snappy, snappy swings. Good. One more. Plank? You going to plank? Yeah, plank, plank, let's plank. Let's do it. Last one. Last one. Make the alphabet. Right? Isn't that one of them where you do? Do A, B, C, D, and all that. And rest. All right, last one. Last one. Good timing. All right, here we go. Make the make it the best one. Last one, the best one. Good form all the way through. There you go. I like good swingers. Nice and snappy. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 I never done it. I gotta stop when RJ does. That's it. RJ, you're good. You're done. Whew. Done. All right, check it out. Yeah. Are each? Are nice Thank job, you. people. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That was awesome. Good. You guys, your swings at the end were really looking really good. You yeah. can tell you're very. You guys are very core. Does it feel better? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they look way better. The one-handed swings are the little, you know, in cleans, obviously, they need work, but. Yeah, for sure. So when people say to like make a shelf like this, that's incorrect. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yes. So what? So they do like this, and they hold it like that. So yeah. So. So a rack. No, yeah, so if the proper way to hold it. Is it, because when you press it, you're going, when you press it, you're going from there. So when you press, you're, yeah, you're not doing that. Yeah, so you're pressing from here. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah.